In ANTT wound care, one of the common challenges nurses have is how do I put this pear sterile glove? When do I open it? In this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate and show you when is the right time to wear the sterile glove, which is a spare glove, in case if you snap the glove when you're wearing it, you are taking an additional glove. So how do I wear it? So this can be a very challenging for a lot of nurses. Let's look at that now. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know what you want to see next. And this was the common question a lot of nurses have asked me, when and how do I wear the sterile glove and what's the right time? Let's look at that now. In ANTT, you will be checking the equipment first. You have a dressing pack here. You need the dressing which you need to apply for the wound. They might come in in bigger sizes. So our next one is you need the normal saline and then uh, you will need a chlorhexidine wipe or alco wipe they might keep and you have the clean gloves and then uh, you have the apron it might be kept on the wall sometimes just uh, check that and you will have a spare sterile glove in the pack so we're going to focus mainly on the spare sterile glove when to wear it and how to wear it so i'm going to show you that now so you have cleaned the trolley and you're going to gather the equipment so let's go to the next step and then i'm going to show you exactly when to open it all right so i'm going to alco gel my hand i'm going to gather the equipment so i'm going to check the integrity of all the equipment especially dressing pack clean dry and uh, ready to use expiry date and then you need the dressing again clean dry and the expiry date verbalize it so you need the normosol or the saline check the expiry date and clarity and verbalize it so you have that then uh, you need the chlorhexidine wipe or the alcohol wipe whatever they keep usually is a chlorhexidine wipe so check the expiry date and integrity a clean glove expiry date is 2028 or check it expiry date whatever expiry date you have place that in you need an apron and you are going to take the spare sterile glove which is in the pack if you want to use it so so check the integrity check the expiry date so maybe it's written somewhere so it's here so you can see the expiry date verbalize it loudly and then i'm going to place that in the bottom shelf of the trolley now the trolley is ready now i'm going to proceed to patient so i'm going to alco gel my hand There are other steps are involved before that. So I'm just going to show mainly on uh, when to open the sterile gloves. So I'm going to proceed to patient holding there. So you're going to introduce yourself to the patient and gain the consent. And you can say, uh, can I please close the curtains for privacy? You're going to close the curtains and you're going to perform the hand hygiene. So you're going to wear the apron make sure your apron is secured in the sense tight and open fully now you're going to open the sterile pack so when you're opening the sterile pack make sure package is not touching so you're going to open, tear open and do not touch the inside part of the dressing and drop it onto the trolley. At this point critical is you're going to alcohol gel your hand.
now we're going to open this sterile pack so i have showed this on the other video as well so i'm just going to quickly go through so i'm just going to open this sterile pack only touching the corners of the dressing pack please don't touch excessively inside that means you're contaminating the sterile pack open the sides and gently open only touching the corners pull the sides to make it flat here you can see the orange bag is underneath the gloves so to get to the orange bag you have to move the glove or sometime there might be bag directly on you can alcohol gel and pick the bag so in this situation I have to move the gloves so I'm going to move the gloves out and I'm going to position the orange bag again so again this is a good tip I'm giving you so position the orange bag so that you can pick that with the edges so that you don't touch anywhere else now this is a critical moment I have to perform my hand hygiene please don't forget to watch our video on ANTT common errors you normally see in ANTT so it's on our channel HST learning so watch that video before you watch this one so at this point this is the right time for you to open the sterile glove I'll tell you why it is so this is the right time for you to open the sterile glove so just open the sterile glove pack there will be a paper sleeve inside you can see it in this video so I'm just going to gently open it without touching anywhere this is a critical moment where you're going to pick the orange bag and rearrange the things okay so I'm going to alcohol gel my hand I'm going to pick the orange bag the reason I put the gloves before I will tell you now so you know so I'm going to pick the orange bag only touching where I'm going to put the hand in see how I'm picking my fingers are not touching the sterile field so you can open this this is fine to open put the hand in gently Put your fingers in and then uh, hold the back now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange so with the orange bag or yellow bag or whatever white bag I'm not going to use these gloves I'm going to use spare gloves because I need large gloves or extra large gloves based on your hand size now this is the moment you need to use to position your sterile glove and open it so I'm going to open it see my orange bag is not touching anywhere I am going to take out the sterile gloves I'm going to put them out now I've seen some people uh, you know taking the glove out uh, taking the glove pack out and keeping on a table and uh, trying to put the gloves there so I don't normally suggest or advise so you have taken the gloves out with the orange bag so now you can pick this bag up you can pick this bag up so and then discard at the bottom shelf and this orange bag you're not going to use it anymore so you're going to stick it closer to the patient below the aseptic field now you're going to clean the saline so you're going to clean the saline you're going to verbalize cleaning the saline for 30 seconds and allowing it to dry for 30 seconds so you're going to confirm that and then you're going to open the saline and pour the saline gently 
into the gully pot and now you're going to open the dressing now you can see that these sterile gloves are ready to be worn so I need to perform my hand hygiene so I'm going to perform my hand hygiene So I'm going to find out where is the little finger and the thumb. I can see the thumb there. So that's the little finger. I can't see the thumb in this particular glove. Maybe I'll go for that glove first because I'm seeing the thumb. So I can decide that that's critical when you're wearing the glove. So I'm going to go for this glove. I'm only pinching the fold. See it? bring it out don't try to put the hand into the sterile area so i'm going to stretch it a little bit gently i'm going to position my fingers make sure you have enough time here try not to rush it if you rush it you're going to snap the glove or you're going to contaminate see my hand so i'm still holding there i'm not going to touch the sterile area so I'm positioning all my fingers are in so that's why you've got to have patience put the thumb and the other two fingers in and the rest of the fingers not gone in you can adjust it now second glove glove to glove you can hold because now it's just these fingers are sterile other hand keep it away so you can flick it or turn it and check where is the thumb so I can see so so thumb is hiding there so I'm just looking for thumb so I know where I need to go for so I need to go on this way I'm going to turn it put my fingers into the fold take it out again again have the patience and make sure it's not touching anywhere else so you need to be gentle okay so both gloves are in Examiner, my both hands are fully covered with the gloves. So now I am going to, you know, extend my aseptic field or you can even with because a sterile hand now, so I can separate the gauze quickly. Extend my aseptic field. And this is my clean hand, this is my dirty hand. So I'm going to dip, squeeze, pass it on corner to corner. Make sure don't touch the fingers or you can drop it either way, whichever you prefer. So single wipe technique, discard, dip, squeeze, pass it on, single wipe technique, discard, dry same way as cleaning and dry same way as cleaning and now you apply the dressing when you apply the dressing so people always ask me can I hold it with both hands you can because it's covered or if you don't want to hold it if it is larger dressing you might struggle to remove and you might touch the inside part and contaminate you can keep it flat and then you can pull it or I could say hold it, squeeze it, you can say Cesar, this dressing is fully covered and I'm not contaminating, so I'm going to apply the dressing into patient's wound, one side, stick it, and make sure edges are fully closed, alright, so gently tap it, and then uh, you can close the station, take the sterile sheet, put that into the saline, take your gloves off at the same time which can help you a lot and wrap it, put that into the orange bag, discard everything in the waste bag, 
discard that into the yellow bin. Usually you have a pedal bin. And take your apron off without touching the clothes. Alco gel your hand and verbalize documenting, cleaning the trolley, making sure patient is comfortable, leaving the call bell in reach and doing the final hand hygiene and then leave the station. Hope this video has helped you to understand what is the right time to wear the sterile glove which is in a separate pack. A lot of people struggle and they take it out somewhere in the table, they put it on top of the sterile field, they don't realize they're contaminating when they pick the paper bit. I've shown you, you can use the advantage of orange bag or a white bag to take the sterile gloves out of the pack and then rearrange. Watch this video again which can really help you to avoid the contamination of the sterile field or the gloves. So that might really help you in your OSCE exam. So thank you for watching this. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel which is HST Learning. If you need anything else to see, please give us a comment and uh, let us know. Thank you very much. Gilbert from Health Skills Training.